So in today's tip, we're going to carry on looking at JavaScript error types. And in this lesson, we're looking at reference errors. So a reference error occurs when you try and access mainly a variable that doesn't actually exist or is not in the scope of where you're trying to access it from. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. So we've got our trivial code that we had set up from yesterday. And if we run that in the browser, you can see we're getting hello world as the output. Uh, but what if we try and do a comparison uh, with a variable that doesn't exist? So up here, our variable is called msg, short for message. Uh, but if we say message one, for example, uh, Visual Studio Code with our JavaScript file isn't intelligent enough to actually work out that that variable hasn't been defined in this or another file. Uh, so it doesn't give us any warnings. It just comes up with a bit of a suggestion, actually, uh, to say, uh, did you mean a sp specific variable, which is handy, uh, but it's easily missed because it's not highlighted in a big red letters. So you can see when the code runs, we get this msg one is not defined, and you can see it's a reference error. So the format is exactly the same as a syntax error. We've got the type of error, which is reference, uh, and then a message to tell us what's going wrong. And then again, the file name and also the line number of where that is occurring. So depending on your editor, you might get some more helpful hints to say that the uh, the variable isn't defined that you're trying to access. Uh, but what's a little bit more confusing and where a reference error is more likely to occur is where you're trying to access a variable that's not in scope. So it could be that this msg variable is defined inside of a function. So we'll just say message function and just create an empty function here and if we just pop that variable inside of there uh, so you can see here now we're getting another reference error and it's exactly the same uh, but we're actually using the correct variable name but because that variable is not in the scope of the if statement uh, we're still getting a reference error so it's more likely you'll get this kind of uh, reference error popping up uh, letting you know that you're trying to access a variable that's not actually available within the scope with which you're trying to access it. So in the next tutorial we're going to take a look at another type of JavaScript error uh, but that's it for this tutorial make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.